Is healthcare a right or a luxury? But healthcare right now is reactive. I mean, that's the sad truth. You know, we wait for stuff to happen. It's a grueling job, emotionally, physically, mentally. Sometimes it feels like a conveyor belt. We've actually filled our intensive care unit now um, above our normal capacity. Healthcare, a fundamental necessity in society. The maintenance and continued improvement of a population's health, and for many, a lifeline. Value-based healthcare focuses not on cost, but on value. So value-based healthcare is really an extension of the four prudent healthcare ideas of involving people in decisions about their own care, of caring for those with the greatest need first, only doing what is needed, and in reducing inappropriate variations. Wales has a history of incorporating and prioritising value-based healthcare at its core. We have to ensure that we maximise the outcomes given the resources we have available. Now, that, that isn't a, a lesson in health decision-making, that is economics 101. We can now start to draw on some of the, uh, the pilot programmes um, that, we've, uh, that we've been running. Value-based healthcare has to be careful not to stray into old paradigms of thinking that were present in the NHS before. I'm not sure yet um, about the actual doing of value-based healthcare. I haven't yet seen the data that shows that that's um, definitely a success story, but it's certainly the road that we should be traveling. And uh, what we've been building in, in Wales over the last couple of years is, is our capability to understand our outcomes. So suddenly we're left with an almost blank sheet of paper to work from. And that's a once in a generation uh, opportunity. Now, a lot of the diseases are down to the circumstances of people's lives. So there's a direct link between people's wealth and their health. So the poorer you are, the more likely rather you are to suffer from heart disease and cancers and, and lots of other life-threatening diseases. I think the time is opportune for, for a reset because what we need to do is rather than uh, spend huge amounts of money on treating people after they become unwell and, and training staff to do that, definitely to invest more in people, keeping people well in the first place. So I think this is a, a, a great opportunity post-COVID the old model of the past is not one that is going to be sustainable for the future. And that's why I'm so excited about the work that's taking place in, in Wales and why as an organisation Pfizer is so committed to finding new, novel, innovative ways to, uh, to bring value-based healthcare to life. The British people rely on the NHS and the recent outbreak sparked much public support for workers on the front line looking at the astounding work that has been achieved over the past months. It is obvious that with some extra resources, funding and innovation, and putting staff well-being at the forefront, the NHS could be something far greater.